So yeah, good morning Dublin. The waistcoat is on, it must mean one thing, the Humans Under Management Conference. My name is Andy Hart, the founder of Humans Under Management, uh, a financial brand dedicated to behavioural financial advice. Um, ensuring people make better, long-term financial and life decisions, um, which ultimately results in better client outcomes. Uh, we have a hashtag for today, uh, humdub18. I hope you like the Twitter wall. 300 euros. Hope you like the letters. 500 euros. Shout out to Hollywood LED letters that just made it today. Um, thank you very much for coming. Really do appreciate it. Well, those of you who have turned up so far. Um, we have got a packed room, 200 people, so hopefully um, we're going to fill it out. Um, would I be right in saying that most Irish advisors don't like paying for conferences? Obviously, this doesn't apply to you guys. You, you know the benefit of investing in yourself. When I first read this quote, um, I disagreed with it. And as time's gone on, I've learnt to accept it, and not only accept it, but to embrace it. Only when I was able to accept this quote was I able then to seek real wisdom. Today is a day of discussing misconceptions, misunderstandings and biases. There's no such thing as the rational human. Even us as professionals are not above this. We're all trying to become more rational. Speaking of irrationality, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the full moon. Where's this going? Even today, people believe the full moon has mystical powers which may influence human behaviour. Some smiles. They call this the lunar effect. One of the oldest and most powerful stories that has endured through generations. Does the full moon have mystical powers? It's when the werewolves come out in numbers. Now for some real world examples. Police forces report an increase in crime. Suicides apparently rise. Medical staff report an increase in admissions. And apparently an increase in dog bites. It influences voters' behaviour, fish mating patterns, and some surgeons even refuse to operate on full moon days. There's more. There's going to be a laugh there. No? So one of these is made up. One of these is made up. I'll help you guys out. There's a decrease in sleep quality, there's an increase in the birth rates apparently, and one study concluded that the stock market performs better leading up to a full moon. Is the effect real or is it lunacy? Early studies indicated the lunar effect, however countless later studies have found no conclusive evidence. Humans are fascinated with seeking patterns in everything. This phenomenon is known as pareidolia. Seeking patterns when none exist. Why am I telling you this? We need to help our clients look to us and not to the moon. We need to help our clients look to us and not to the moon. Our clients will continually unpack financial misconceptions and we need to help them and save them from themselves. Without our help, they may believe a temporary decline is a permanent loss. Without our help, they may believe the stock market is risky, even though all it's trying to do is capture human ingenuity. Without our help, they may believe that this time it's different, again, again, and again. And we know that this too shall pass, again, again, and again. I'm looking for Stephen Brown. You're, you're up next, my friend. Uh, today is split between half practicing financial advisors and half experts, um, so I hope you're going to enjoy the day. Now I'm going to pass you over to Mr. Stephen Brown, who's been very influential in helping me put on today. He's really, really useful on the back-end admin, <coughs> <coughs> nice. those of you who know him. Um, so yeah, introducing Stephen Brown, who's also going to introduce the first speaker of the day. He's the Just About Managing Director of the Trusted Advisor Group, <laughs> Stephen Brown. Thank you. 